Okay, my intro talks people. Thought I'd give you another little update on how far I've come along. I've watched loads of episodes of the podcast this week, mainly due to the fact, because of stomach flu, I've been lying in a heap feeling sorry for myself and decided that, you know, Exiles will definitely cheer me up. So I've gone from ice to fire was the last one I did last night. And while there's some redonkulously awful episodes in the middle of them, Ice and Fire happen to be two of my favourite X-File episodes. Ice I adore, and I adore the podcast, because I don't know if I'll be able to watch that without assuming the little worms will really want to just be wearing tuxedos, and all they really want is a nice night out on the town, where they could dress up in a little suit, maybe go dancing, have dinner, you know. I think my brain went a little bit crazy on that one, but then I also do got a little bit paranoid because by the end of the episode and the commentary I was a bit like oh my stomach does not feel too good but there's nothing like an intro tox podcast of ice while having stomach flu because you will just relate because by a 25 millionth trip to the loo you are beginning to think that maybe small alien trapped in ice worms are in fact living in your body helping you to well evacuate your guts I know, really beautiful. I'm glad you you probably all really want to know about that. But yeah, by the end of Ice, I was paranoid about small worms in my stomach that also might want to be wearing suits and go out dancing. So, slightly delusional and slightly gross at the same time. Um, I love the fact that everyone equally hates space as the worst episodes of X-Files ever. And the general consensus that Mulder's still kind of useless and it was the worst set ever with, like, I'm pretty sure, like, the children I work with could make a better set out of, like, you know, bottle top lids and painted dials and stuff. You know, in England we have Doctor Who and you kind of think it's cheesy and tacky. But you know what? Give me a Doctor Who cheesy, tacky, fake lever set any day over the space one. And also, space is just a terrible, terrible episode. I don't really want ghost face thing from the moon. Like, I mean, that was about the only kind of creepy bit. And even then, it was just like, oh, what an interesting idea. Space ghosts. And no, I I mean, my mind just goes blank on the episode. It was just the most boring thing in the history of mankind. You know, I mean, I think I even like Ghost in the Machine better because at least it had the excitement of like, oh my goodness, Scully versus Whirly Blades. Okay, the most pathetic Whirly Blades known to man or beast. But still, she got to do something cool and that was better than the pointlessness that was the episode of Space. Um, Obviously, Fire being my all-time favourite episode, I love Mark Shepard. I absolutely adore the man and he's in like everything. Like, I love him from like the middle man. And obviously, I love him from X-Files. X-Files... Supernatural, because I'm a huge Supernatural fan, and because of Supernatural, it means that Mark Shepard keeps turning up at every convention going. I think I've now have six, like, photos with him, and, like, about a million autographs. I'm running out of things for him to sign. I even got him to sign the X-Files print I have of him going like this. So I'm like, oh yeah, I've got my Mark Shepard, Bob the Caretaker, Incinerator Man, <laughs> photo, yeah. That makes me feel cool. And also, he's Mark Shepard. And also, that episode proves how he became Crowley in Supernatural. Because, you know, you don't start off as the most insane, I love to set shit on fire, mental case. And end up as the king of hell, where you want to destroy the world. You control the demons, and you're the king of hell. It's like the progression is just so natural, is what I thought. I'm, yeah, still absolutely adoring the podcast. I'm loving the fact that Claire can link everything to Pennywise the Clown. I am going, I've never once even, like, been scared of clowns. I mean, apart from it, and then when he turned into a giant mutant space grasshopper, I was a bit like, this has lost all appeal to me. I bet that's the bit when Mulder was watching it, and he went, <laughs> clowns. When he turned into an alien grasshopper, he was like, see, see, alien grasshoppers, see, it proves it, you know, all clowns are now alien grasshoppers, and you're like... Oh, oh, Mulder, I, I, I bet you really do think alien grasshoppers live in caves and you cannot wait for that to turn up in the X-Files. I bet you sit around watching all these movies that we watch and go, right, this movie, now when is this going to be my case? So you sat there kind of going, it, yeah, clowns, alien grasshoppers, 
right? Let's create an X Files, do some research, hide it in a file, and then one day just take it out and go, oh my goodness, Scully, look at this file! Look at all this clear evidence! Let's go investigate! And oh, what other classic films? Piranha. He probably like watched that and thought, oh yeah, mutated like piranha fish that eventually fly and mutate yep like okay, i secret footage from that yeah doctors and images look scully i found this real sent in video documentary about flying piranhas or mosquito the one of the giant mosquitoes like oh my goodness oh my god you must have loved b movies i was a big fan of all the like the old stuff like um them with the giant spiders and the day the earth stood still i bet he's like like just gone researched them all and made up fake x-files to fill that cabinet which reminds me of the fact that I used to do that. I used to have a filing cabinet. I remember that. My mum was like, we need to get you a cupboard or something to store all your shit in. I was like, I want a filing cabinet. Like, you don't need a filing cabinet. Yes, I do. I want a filing cabinet. So in my wonderful, like, teenage bedroom, there was a massive metal filing cabinet that had X-Files stickers all over it and I had all the files in it. And I'd be able to go, like, yeah, what secret case am I working on? Oh, yes, it's this. It's clearly an episode of Star Trek that I have cut out pictures from and pretended it's a real case. I was such a sad teenager. But then and I'm also the girl that had the X-Files action figures and wrapped Scully in ribbon to make it look like her wedding dress. And they had a wedding on, strangely, a church made out of X-Files box sets. And the priest was the burnt corpse thing from the hospital stretcher from the X-Files action figure set. Yeah, I'm mature, really, really. Unfortunately, it hasn't changed much at all. If, every time I like do one of these video things, you get a sneak peek of my Doctor Who action figure collection. I'm still a child. Anyway, back to your podcast. Brilliant. It's entertaining me. It's giving me so much theories. Definitely this week's theory is that Mulder is making up cases by creating his own scrapbooks based on his favourite movies and putting them in a file at cabinet so he can go, Scully, look at this. I'm going to stop rambling and go and do something productive with my day. Bye now and keep up the wonderful work, guys.